and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Karma Maokai. It's a pretty interesting deck that I haven't played yet on stream and so wanted to play this. Uh, this deck's looking to get to the late game and have an awesome late game. What we're trying to do is really have our champions win. Either we're going to have Maokai level up and obliterate our enemy's deck. That's goal number one. Or goal number two, we're going to just kind of like toss a whole lot of stuff from our deck and, and filter through our deck and, and be left with not many cards and be left with Karma and Rekindler to bring back Karma and then just using uh, Karma's Inside of Aegis spell over and over so we don't actually ever mill out because we just keep on shuffling Karma's into our deck and then we just use the whatever spells we create from the Inside of Aegis to beat our opponent because just every turn we're just you know we're just creating four random spells every turn with an enlightened karma in play and drawing a new one of these and so you know our opponents can't keep up with our four spells a turn so that that's the goal like that's that's the goal of our deck um so we're playing a slow control deck uh besides that this you know this deck was from mobile addicts uh a lot of people or like people this deck play i changing a few things up like people play cursed keeper and blighted caretaker in this deck and when I've been playing against this deck, those two cards have looked really bad, especially like the Curse Keeper. Like you have to kill the Curse Keeper with something, and if you don't have anything to kill the Curse Keeper, it just looks really silly um, with the rest of the deck. And so I wanted to get those out of here, and instead we're playing a Health Potion and some Deep Meditations for some card draw, and then I'm also gonna play some Wanderers as another like d defensive thing just sit back you know sit back and block with this trade with something get the life steal toss some to get uh maokai leveled up faster and i wanted a second ruination in this kind of deck as well so we got an another one of those in here so that's what we kind of replaced those with um but here we go let's try it out let's play some karma maokai we should be playing some real slow games go into the late game Let's go to the Ionia board. We go to the Ionia board very often. Let's do that. And we'll have our minion. Let's go to Gromp. Gromp's cool. <clears throat> Alright, gonna be winning some late games. So yeah, if you like playing like control decks, um, where all your decisions matter for the whole game, uh, this could definitely be a deck for you. All right, plane versus burn. Rekindler Karma is great, but we don't need that right away. We'll keep all these things that say gain life. Wow, no one drop. In the burn deck. First big mission. Yeah, that card's good. Thorny Toad. Let me show you what I can do. Explosives Prime. Damn it. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make me All right, gonna go with the Wanderer right away. bit of damage. Soli! Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub for six awesome months. Sorry. Don't know if they see something out the window. They don't like. Hmm.
use my mana better to play you know, Withering Will or Grasp the Undying. <clears throat> but neither of those are fantastic Withering Will slash Grasp the Undying targets. Yeah, doggies are just really excited about the sub. That's true. Seven life. <laughs> so I want to play Ruination right now. That's what I want to do. I hope they just don't have seven points of burn right now in their hands. Which would basically have to be... You know, it's pretty unlikely that they do. Noxion Fervor would be a nightmare. Gosh, they had Noxion Fervor. That's a nightmare. It was like the perfect hand to have. the hope less yeah, that lessens the hope for sure that was a great card to have I should probably just attack for four at that point. My spirit is an unquenchable fire. No one's the wiser. Yeah, the, the two Ds mean they're donation decks. They're viewer-submitted decks. Wait, why does that kill me? 
Why did that kill me? Do I not gain three? Well, I mean, I guess I had no other option. I mean, I, got, I could have played the 3-3, the three, three, see what card we drew, but... Why did that kill me? It does damage before healing, so the whole card doesn't just continue to resolve. It does the damage, and then you resolve the Crimson Aristocrat trigger, and then, like, in the middle of the card resolving? It's really weird. So you do, like, half of the card, and then you do some of the Crimson Aristocrat card, and then you do the other half of the card. That's weird. Yeah, I understand it's deal damage, then heal, but I thought it would, you know, deal damage, then heal, and then, and then do the, you know, finish, like, the text for this card, and then it would do the text for the next card. Not... You know, not split it up like that. Honestly, I should probably be keeping Ruination, Misfortune Sejuani. I should probably just keep Ruination. Keeping Hapless Aristocrat to play on turn five after Maokai, or, you know, we can play it early. It just, it doesn't matter to play it on turn one. Who's on top of the bounty board today? All we're doing is blocking with this card, like the damage doesn't matter. Time to make some coins. So I could have had it out to to block and um, save two life, but I'll probably do more with it than that. All right, all they're doing is helping me set up my late game. That Yoro Grifter just missed, I think. You point, I shoot. So yeah, yeah, I missed. So we can take two, go to 16, and then gain three back, go back up to 19. And back down to 16. We'll bring peace to Ionia. Because I have the Rekindler, I'm pretty safe doing this, even if they would have taken my Grasp of the Undying. They did. But still pretty safe. Relatively speaking, because of the Rekindler. So even if they had the worst case scenario, which was that um, Grasp of the Undying. Have you tried the Callista Vi Barkeep deck? No, not yet. No, just saw that earlier today. Good. 
good. Another Rekindler. So they've taken some cards from us. We know they do not have Ruination because we just tossed one and I have one right now. I was actually pro if they passed again, I was probably not going to attack and have them waste all that mana, to be honest. But I want I wanted to get another blocker out here for these. with Maokai. Honestly, maybe it's good to use double... Maybe I should be using double Vile Feast on this Black Market Merchant. I think Maztec with that deck, I think I think you had less than three either Callista or Vise, but I, I think that deck should probably just have three of both of those two cards. Lady Elise, where are you? Hmm. I don't know, maybe not. What's that noise? Let's see there's Sejuani Twisted or Sejuani Misfortune, so no Twisted Fate. Oh, you already changed that? Okay. Yeah, Karma doesn't double until turn 10. We got a little ways to go there. They're looking for the line. Bow to no one. One awesome month. Thank you, Huday. I do, Andre. Yep. That's what I yep, I do this full time. Well fought. Thank you, Tyler. Hope hope life's going good. So the problem there is like Maokai's gone and it's now it's gonna be really hard to level up Maokai. What? With a Maokai that's gone. But 
that helps. We're only eight things away. You know, we just need eight more things to die. So we're getting there. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So awesome. Let's get over there as well. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Come to the light. So yeah, this early stream time, we're gonna be doing um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Basically every other day, One good turn. except for, you know, Sunday and Monday will not be every other day, but then, so four days a week I'm going to be doing this early stream time, like now, and then Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, the later stream time, and so I've updated the Twitch schedule for that. Alright, another thing dying. Maokai. And they're just making they're just getting me closer to drawing my karmas and Maokai's, which is really all we want to draw. So like their game plan's kinda helping us. Like they're they're steal like they're them stealing all these cards from me is actually kinda helping us. The only problem is they get removal. Ooh. They get removal to take out um, my champions. But we know they don't have Ruination. We tossed ru Ruination earlier and we drew Ruination. Pain is nothing. will be a problem if they have removal for this karma that would be a problem definitely possible I should have just waited to play this once I had 10 mana and I could just Fight for your lives. yeah just we'll see if we regret doing that All right, so this card doesn't do, this Vile Feast doesn't actually do anything. But I want to get it out of my hand. I need to I need to clear up clear up spaces in my hand. That card doesn't really do anything either. All right, cool. They didn't kill Karma. All right, so can Karma take out all this stuff? Probably. Let's see. Many past lives in a single soul. Hmm. As death. <laughs> hey, there, there. Uh, I guess follow what Bone Flare go to the Hawk Tai bot there. Um, the Sejuani Swain is actually, it's kind of a little ways away. You have to scroll down actually for that one quite a ways. I originally played it like eight days ago. I can I can help find you it though. Here we go. There you go, bump flare. No, I wanted to play the spell that was the extra champion because I wanted to put the champion back into my deck. And give me the because I, I would like to continually draw that card. Right, so same thing. So yeah, I use the champion card first because I want to put I want to put you know so I put two karmas into my deck, and because I would like to draw karma. 
And so having them in my deck as early as possible is nice. Oh man. Well, that's that's a card I didn't really anticipate. I should I should have vile feasted, you know, with my other card. I should have played both of them at the same time. I did, I just I did not anticipate Citrus Courier. Okay, yeah, Bone Player, you, you've replaced one Sejuani for a Katarina. I could definitely see you doing that. Absolutely. Always forward. Yeah, I like, I like the one. Um, the one Katarina. Need removal for Sejuani. Oh, right. They get to just attack again. Ugh, that's a bummer. Alright, so I deny that. I'm certainly in trouble if they have another Citrus Courier, because I just I don't have any removal for Sejuani, and that's that's the one thing that's a problem right now. Sejuani. Fight like the animal you are. Burst speed. Plus four damage. Down to one. I mean, denying this, all it does is... It doesn't do a whole lot. All it does is save one life. Yeah, if, if they have another Citrus Courier, I'm just dead. Citrus Courier was awesome. That Citrus Courier kept their misfortune alive, gave them all those attacks. You've got dangerous eyes. I okay, like good. It. Not just the eyes, you know.
I wish we could like choose different targets for this. One, two, I wish I could steal champions. Maybe we should have done the Shadow Flare. Corruption everywhere. All right, can we survive through four cards? cards left. This is a lot of mana that I'm about to waste. Let's go ahead and draw a couple. I don't know if I can survive this. I don't know. Like it says, you know, like deal one to the battling enemies in the enemy nexus. Yeah, you don't deal one three times. What did they just steal? Oh, I guess I can look. Oh no, they, oh, they just took a warning shot and they stole something out of the deck. Okay, well. Uh, a warning shot kills me. Yeah, I mean, warning shot just kills me. Really warning shot. My hope, my only hope was drawing the one mana burst speed uh, game life. They had three cards left in their deck. So I'm not sure if I would have been able to deny the misfortune trigger because I needed to de deny the mis. I didn't know if it, if it was going to be three separate um, abilities coming out. But I needed to deny that, and I, and then I was going to stun the Sejuani with the overwhelm. Need to do those two things. Yeah, it's just one one skill.
No, I'm not going to be playing Karma Ezreal today. I feel like Karini Control is probably good for us. So our deck doesn't have Vengeance. So I feel like it could be a... What's that, noise? that could be a problem that we don't have Vengeance. See, so I just can't... I couldn't kill that Sejuani. We do have Will of Ionia, I guess. And, you know, we have the two Ruinations. No, I don't think War Mother's Call would be broken if it was Burst Speed. I think add 12 mana and everything else in the format. I don't. I don't think it would be broken. Hey, it's Grace Claw. Don't worry about it, man. It's all good. I I appreciate the. Um, I do appreciate the extra donation there. Thank you. It's okay. Sometimes, sometimes the decks don't work out. That's okay. We win some, we lose some. Um, I feel worse that you know, as your your deck, the you know, you donated for with the Yetis and everything, and I couldn't, I couldn't win any games, and that's what I feel bad about. Hey, Scrub Lord. Hope you had a good day at work. Fresh camera. There we go. Let's fix that. The Isles will bloom again. Two out of twenty-five for Maokai. Oh no! You got me. Hey, Jojo. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Happy with them doing that. I really didn't want to see Vi. They want them to play Vi this turn and then untap and challenge and, and Vi just be there as a challenger. Like Vi seems like a big problem for our deck. You cannot escape. Corruption everywhere. And now at six mana, I can double spell with the Maokai plus the Thorny Toad. Get a bunch of tossing in. And start eliminating the deck. I want to eliminate the deck as fast as possible. to eliminate their deck.
Honestly, I don't really have... I guess my, my advice for getting past Platinum would be my advice getting just at, to any level is just keep playing, keep learning, and, um, and you know, doing your best. Like, it, it takes time. Like, leveling up... No, they had Vi. Leveling up in the game is not a... Is, is not like a just always like a linear progression. That's for that's kind of looking weird for y'all. You would start over here and go this way. So it's not a linear progression. Um, like there's there's ups and downs. You see, like I lost I've lost seven games in a row <laughs> right now. Um, you know, so there's there's ups and downs. Just keep playing, keep learning. Keep getting better and and you'll get there protect our grove yeah platinum is after gold yep So it's going to be 23 for Maokai, so I need to find my third Maokai. You're welcome. Um, no, there's probably not a reason to not attack with my other things when I challenged the Vi. I guess they do shuffle the, the Vi back into their deck. Yeah, they are shuffling the Vi back into their deck. They're doing this, of course, to level up Vi. I don't want them to have Vi leveled up. My life total isn't really that much of a concern with Double Withering Will, Grasp, and with Karma. It's like, we're going to gain a lot of life. I haven't withering, withering wild spiders. It's fine. I don't need to. <clears throat> I wanted to see, like, last turn if they would have played more things, then I would have ruinationed. They didn't play more things. Gonna ruination now. So they had, 
So they had all three of eyes. Worst card for me to see, they had all three of them. problem for me. So of course I want to grasp and kill the Vi with grasp. But if I do that and then they kill my karma, I'm in trouble. Let's see. So we've had we've had one karma die. So I guess so there should be one other karma left, right? Because we've only had one real karma die. We've had two rekindler karmas die. Because I have to have two karmas to get the inside of ages chain going. So actually, so we should be fine. Oh, that doesn't that doesn't kill that though. That just does two four. That only does four damage. That doesn't actually kill that. All right, figured that out. Uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine. Okay, nine cards. All right, so we'll just pass. That's not gonna happen. Yeah, tough is really, really strong. Every single thing doing one less damage, that's really strong. Maokai leveled up yet? Not yet. Come to the light. Turned on plunder. Pretty sure I have one karma left in my deck. I should maybe cast this just to put two karmas into the deck. Yeah, I should. The problem, the problem here though is whatever the top card is, we are burning because obviously we're our our hand's going to be filled, so we're burning the top card. So I like if this top card is Maokai or Karma, I'm in trouble. Okay, that's fine. But like. Car you know, Karma. I'd still, I'd have more Karmas left. But really, if that top card was Maokai, I would felt, I would feel really bad. Because Maokai is my win con. So it's a one out of nine. It's basically a one out of nine chance of me like, kind of losing the game right there. Eh, not really losing. We'd still be fine. We'd have Karmas for good. Stop, Harvey. Stop. I guess that was a poor card to play also, because that doesn't get a card out of my hand, does it? The whole point of playing something is I have to get a card out of my hand. And that doesn't do that. this thing and reset it yeah they get to replay it but I'm just gonna reset it so they don't play like you know I I go vile feast they like play two things level that up and it's always leveled up the rest of the game what do you think about the sedge ash deck I really like both those cards and I really like Freljord um, 
I'm not sure like which deck you're referring to exactly. Like as far as for like my Sejuani Ash deck, that like I played on Sunday. Yeah, love that deck. Like Bilgewater can be a weakness, but um, yeah, we saw on Sunday I went four one with it. It's it's really good. And I, I like it quite a bit. It's a fun deck to play. Similar to the Sejuani Swain, and I think, I think that deck is really fun to play too. Like that one as well. Glad the Vi is not like Fiora. They're gonna be killing a bunch of my stuff. Where are you? I pull the strings. Rekindler. No. Getting cards out of my hand. That's what we gotta do. We gotta cast as much stuff as we can. The problem is I have like deep meditation that I'll never be able to cast. Glimpse beyond, never never be able to cast. I have two dead cards right now. All right, our last Malachi is one of these two. Um, basically because of uh, Bilgewater's card advantage, like they have, they have too much, too much card advantage. Sure. Well, that was good. I rid of a bunch of threats. Don't have to deal with those now. Maokai! Maokai. Found it. It was the second to last card in our deck. We know they already obliterated one Ledros with that. I'm hoping we obliterate some more Ledroses. Now all we gotta do is stay alive for four more turns. It's not too bad. So this last card in, in my deck should be another Karma. So we should be able to play this Karma. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can't bounce Kar Yeah, they can't play Karina again. They don't have the cards to. But I'd rather be bouncing this Vi that's Gonna be killing my karma. I don't really care about the 6 6. Karma's in the deck now. But yeah, yeah, exactly. Other times, like in other, other kind of control matchups, I'll definitely bounce Karina and, and have them get rid of their library. That'll happen sometimes. Life starts small. 
So I have just a couple more Karmas in my deck. They have four random cards. Awesome. That seems like a pretty good matchup for us. As long as Vi doesn't kill all your champions. As long as Vi doesn't go crazy. Even if they had Led... I mean, Ledros would... would be a little bit of trouble. Even if they have Ledros, there's a lot of life gain we could have. Yeah, this is a slow deck, though. Alright, playing against Burn again. Garen used to see a good amount of play, but now the Demacia decks are splashing for Vi instead. Because the toughness with Vi is just so good. So now they just don't don't play Garen anymore. Because you'd rather have Vi. They used to play Garen. I played some Karma and Nivea before. Winter's Breath with Karma. Yeah, we've, we've tried that before. Okay, ready. You have to get me out of here. What's going on outside? You haven't seen burn all day? Yeah, there's definitely less burn around. Today we've been hitting it though. Played against burn probably about five times today so far. I don't know, people outside making a bunch of noise. Card is so good. Explosives bright. I'll do better this time. You cannot escape. If this just happens like this, I'm only taking two. Alright, take another three. Basically, my three life that I gained off Withering Whale canceled out with their three damage from their direct attacks. And then I took two from the Crimson Disciple. So it's not too bad, it could be worse. Like playing Karma here, it's a it's a good target. Like if they want to use a burn, like they may use a burn spell on Karma, which is a burn spell not going at me. We will not stand by. Yeah, the Toad's kind of it's gonna be kind of hard to pull off. We'll have like the Glimpse Beyond to pair with it. Seven. Uh, backfired. All right, and now we get to glimpse beyond our toad. one 
I mean, they can respond to my glimpse beyond. Kill me. Uh, I used to play Magic. Before... Runeterra. Like, if, th if they have a three damage thing, I'd just die. Because I can gain two, but then I lose two from here. Remember the objectives. It's a two damage thing. So best case scenario on that one. Best case scenario. Oh, where's our health potion? Health potion. Nope. No refund. Health potion. Okay, that's a health potion. Ugh. Mm. Health potion. I had like Concussive Palm or Will of Ionia that I could, could have used. Gonna do this. This gives me another way to return this and try to find Health Potion. Love it. Love it. Ourselves. That really does feel like it's just too slow. I don't think that this version of Spooky Karma is better than Callista or Thresh. It really doesn't feel like. I think our, our deck's just too slow. So yeah, we have. We have just a ton of life gain in here, but we're still losing a burn because we just can't kill them fast enough. If I had two more mana, I could 
you know, I would have been able to Will of Ionia and bounce it. I just didn't have that two mana. That would have been nice. Of course I'm ready. But as you can see, we have a lot of life gain. You know, gonna... Wander, Withering Whale, all this stuff. No, health potion. I'll blow up the pieces. Yeah, I, I didn't have the mana to recall the enemy. Time to go. So Boomker Rookie should probably be attacking first. Don't get to gain that life. Gonna make it rain. Warning shot. Treasures of the ages for life. Better not stolen my deny. Make it cost three mana. My selection speaks for itself. I must get out of here. Fire beware. That can't be a good attack with Black Market Merchant, right? Oh, okay, they just have that. Still, they're priced into using that. I'd rather just attack with the Yordle Grifter and save my mana, probably. Uh, there's two. There's My opponent's playing Black Market Merchant. That's what they're using to steal enemy cards. They also have Yordle Grifter, steals enemy cards. Uh, there's also Pilfered Goods. It's really awkward having seven mana and everything cost four or five. Don't get to play two of anything. It's very awkward. Dead men tell my tale. Yes, yeah, just bilge water cards. Do that. So I have to kill the other thing, because if I didn't kill that other thing, then uh, the Gangplank would have leveled up. The Blessed Isles live through me. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. That egg, did it move? Yeah, Bilgewater is pretty strong. Yeah, that ruination hurt. <clears throat> if I would have played, no, I think I no, I had eight mana. So if I would have played Karma first, I would still wouldn't have the mana for deny. P 
Could you run the treasure card in this list? No, uh, I guess, is it is it Shadow Isles? Or is it Bilgewater? The seven mana treasure card, I guess I don't know. Bilgewater is mine and mine alone. But yeah, I could kind of see that that working out, but I think it it over it overlaps. I want to say it overlaps with Rekindler. Not bad. Okay, it is Bilgewater. Okay. Yeah, I, w I would think it would be Bilgewater because yeah, because treasures seem like a Bilgewater thing. Heart and mind as one. So we're basically spending ten mana to get a Karma in play. And also level up this Maokai by quite a bit. Return to us. Dang. They just took all my good cards. Some cards. Alright, they're down to six. Be nothing left when I'm done. Just the screams of a dying. Barrel explosives. Yeah, I wish we had infinite mana. It's gonna hurt. to one. Probably should just be, like, bouncing both gang planks. Sure. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what I was going to do. Oh, 
Alright, so that's Karma Maokai. Not too impressed with this deck. Not too impressed with this one. It was... It's basically... It's really, really good against control. If your opponent is not killing you very fast at all, this deck's really good. It's just when you play against opponents that want to kill you, you can... You have some removal. You have a whole lot of card advantage. Um... But you just don't have, like, you you can't, like, end the game quickly on your side at all. And so if they just have burn spells, they'll just eventually kill you with burn spells. And we also just don't have very good board presence. All you have are chump blockers. And so over time, like, like big things were a problem, right? Like Gangplank, Vi, Sejuani, those things that are big are a huge problem because we can't kill them. We have two Ruination, two Grasp. Like, that game, my opponent just stole... Like, stealing my Ruination was huge. Stealing my Rekindler, also huge. Like, like they took two... Like, they took my... Like, you know, the two best cards to take. And that was the difference in the, that game. Um, so, yeah, not too impressed with this deck, honestly. I, I think I'd rather just be playing, like, Karma Thresh. You know, like, like, we've... As far as, like, this kind of deck... Um, you know, I've played... Karma Thresh quite a bit. I like this. I like this version more. Um, just have like more things to to do, um, and just better ways to to contain the board. I think this is a, a better version of the same kind of deck. I'd recommend that one. All right, so there we go. Wanted to wanted to give this a try though, but this definitely felt like a control killer with uh, Maokai. Um, getting rid of the deck all right uh those y'all watching on youtube hit that like button over there and of course feel free to leave those comments if you uh, like this deck you know feel free to let me know or anything else you know i always like seeing those comments too all right thanks so much for watching some karma maokai though and i'll see you for the next video